Welcome, Welcome to, to Cripple, Cripple Creek, Creek, Colorado. Hey, today me and Melanie are in Cripple Creek, Colorado. We took some time off from work and I uh, want to show you our local casino town where we do most of our gambling and sightseeing. Elevation in Cripple Creek is 9,400 feet above sea level. It was established in the late 1800s as a, one of the first gold mine towns and still actively have mining operations today. Right now we're walking down the Strip, also known as Bennett Ave. Well, no one here calls it the Strip but me, but uh, walking down Bennett Ave and you'll see most of the casinos are located on this street. You have eight casinos here and you have one up the road. Been on the west side, cause it's why I stay I just made a thousand, blew it in your face I've been going in, uh, I'ma close the case I can't wait no more, man, I gotta blow the day I've been on the west side, cause it's why I stay As we all walk down here, we'll come to the ice cream store Don't think it's open right now I don't think it's ever been open since we've been up here um, Our usual schedule for Cripple Creek is we start coming around March and we cut it off around October time frame just because the roads are bad uh, the higher elevation the winters are a lot rough or up here so we um, at least what twice a month yes twice a month we come up here every month <laughs> then you have Ralph's break room it's a pizza spot um, we have a here before uh, is it better than Cripple Cow, in our opinion? No, but it's not bad. It's really good. The Cripple Cow has the wood fire stove, and it just makes the pizza taste so much better. Plus, yeah, the Cripple Cow has the wood fire stove when they for uh, how they cook their pizzas, so it makes the pizza taste a lot better. So, where do you want to start at, Melanie? Johnny Nolan's. Okay, we're about to head back to Johnny Nolan's and get My this favorite. party started. This is Johnny Nolan. Usually me and Melanie start off over here in the corner with uh, the Griffin Throne. 75.
Okay, we had no luck at Johnny Nolan. Um, so we're gonna take a pause and go and get something to eat. So we're going back down to Bronco, Bronco Billy's right now and then get our, uh, eat at the Cripple Cow. So we're not done yet. Still got plenty of casinos to hit before we uh, head up out of here from this day trip. Yes. Said I won't see you coming. Blind side for sure. Won't blink now. We're standing face to face. All right, this is our pizza. We ordered the Supreme. That's the one we always get when we come here. So I'll try it again and I'll tell you what we think about it. This is the first slice. It's a uh, name. Um, was it a, a cow jumped over a, a cow jumped over a fence and broke its leg, and that's how it became called Cripple Creek. And I know there's more behind that story, but me and Melanie we were talking about it on our way up here. Mm. Melanie was reading about it. Yeah. When the town over. started booming and the prospectors were coming, they scared the, the little camp and it jumped over a fence and broke his leg. Yep. It became purple. So far, all the casinos we've been in, they've been uh, doing temperature scans or with the with the portable uh, thermometer, and they take your your temperature which is at your forehead and. You're good, you may get a like a wristband. We got this from Johnny Nolan. There are control measures in place and there are social lists and
Okay, this is the Cripple Creek train station. It was built in 1895. And they have a cool little train ride that you could take here that will take you partially around town. Yeah, we just missed the last train. The last one departed at 5 p.m. For the most part, this is Cripple Creek's reopening. Uh, like I said before, it's only been back up for about, uh, about five or six days now. All the small like tourist attraction type stuff is back up and running. The hours have been modified a little bit, but overall it's the same place we remembered and that we always visited in the summertime. This is definitely a day trip. Do it in maybe like eight or nine hours. Uh, there's still more to see, but uh, for the most part, that's pretty much it. Besides the gold mine, and the jails, and that's about it. Well, now we're going to take you up the street to the last casino for Cripple Creek, which is Wildwood. This is our last stop on our Cripple Creek staycation. Um, over here, you can see they're working on building their own hotel for this casino. <laughs> Me and Melanie were just discussing if they would be able to have the ability to fill it in the summertime. I told her if what was going on right now wasn't, I think they wouldn't have a problem. Um, a lot of people like this casino and prefer it over the ones on Bennett Ave. But Wildwood has its own restaurant in here. <clears throat> We've ate here for breakfast before. But as you can see, it is more modernized than um, the older casinos that we visited earlier. 